fellow builder. What goes up and down, but stays in the same place? Stairs! Follow me! You can build any shape of house. You can build a house as big as the plot of land will allow you to. But to get to the floor of your house, you need stairs. In some cases, a no clip is sufficient, but this is only in creative mode. This stage will be simple, but maximally rewarding. Buy one staircase in the shop. Great! Now select them in your inventory and place them where you've marked them on the planner. With a scroll wheel, you can precisely move the stairs to the right and left. Amazing! Hmm, the more I look at them, I think they don't fit. As I am not annoying at all, I will pretend to be your favorite customer, who does not know what he likes. You need to change them. Psst, this also applies to game and software development. Tear them down with your hammer! Nice! Now buy different stairs in the shop. You're quick! Place the stairs again. See how simple and satisfying it is? In this way, you're able to test different solutions immediately without having to monotonously build up the entire structure. We want you to have fun after all. Thank you and see you later. Hey, hey, hey! Next stage is surely gonna raise the roof! Follow me! It's not rocket science that every building needs a roof. In our game, you can build several types of roof. Starting with the simplest and most modern flat roof. Ending with multi-slope roofs. For the purposes of tutorial, let's try hip roofs. First, you need to buy a proper blueprint in the shop. Open the store and buy hip roof blueprint. Excellent! When you choose it and look at the top of the building, you will notice a hologram. Use the scroll bar or arrows on the controller to adjust the roof angle. Confirm it when you're done. Great! All you need now are roof beams. Buy some roof beams from the store. Nice! Now your task will be to complete all the necessary roof beams in the hologram. Remember that you can build scaffolding when working at heights. Health and safety department is crossing their fingers! If we were real friends, I'd have really concrete advice for you! That was intense! Mineral wool, insulation, and plasterboard will be completed automatically so as not to create another phone clicker. We highly respect your time. Just kidding! More berry balls! <laughs> Back to the subject. You've already prepared the roof for the tiles. Buy a lot of roof tiles.
most sloping roofs, gutters are installed to carry the water to the downpipes. This significantly reduces wetting of house walls during rain and snow melt. But this is already part of the finishing work. See you in the next stage! Welcome to the source of our game! We call it Planner because it helps you design any house you want, which you then build! Sounds great? You can save your projects, and if you want to, share them with other players. How cool is that? I will guide you through the various options available. We will plan the house we have prepared to teach you how to do it. You have four tools to use. Cursor, eraser, and add remove floor. Cursor is set by default. You can find help with every element and tool on the top left corner of the screen. Try to hide and show the help panel. Good job! Let's start with the load-bearing walls. Select them from the element. You can create walls in a line or a rectangle by pressing Shift or X on the controller. Draw the load-bearing walls! Good job! Now let's draw the partition walls. We work on a small plot of land, so we cannot overdo. Remember that there are three plot sizes available in the game. Amazing! I think we still need a piece of concrete partition wall. Draw a piece of concrete partition wall! Great! Hmm... What else we might need? Windows! After all, everybody likes to peep at their neighbors! The windows are of different sizes. Increase or decrease them as desired. Largest windows are terrace windows. Insert four windows. Good job. To get into rooms, we need doors. Insert two interior doors. You can rotate them freely and change the direction of the door opening. Get the help panel for available options. to get inside. You can check any time whether the building meets the minimum criteria. Now let's put the stairs in. You are free to rotate them, but for the purpose of the tutorial, place them in indicated position. Nice! I think we should add a floor. Add a floor by clicking on the option available next to the eraser. Great! Now you can move freely between levels. Everything you did on the ground floor, you can do on the first floor. Except for swimming pools and paths, but that's common sense, right? The load-bearing walls of the building go from level to level as the base of the building, and you can't move them after adding a floor. Now, we could also put in a swimming pool and paths. Let's go to the ground floor. A swimming pool is simply a rectangle for which you need enough space to designate it. Draw a swimming pool next to your house. Good job! I think we might need some path to the swimming pool, don't you think? Let's choose a path, increase it a little, and draw it to the end of the pool. After you mark out the path, you put paving stones in their place. Great! Let's check that we have everything! Amazing! Let's save this project! Call it how you like!
great! Now you'll be able to build this on any available level on the medium plot of land. The largest plot is huge! So lots of creative fun ahead! However, if you don't want to spend time designing houses, you can use the random option. See you later! Thank you.